SRBG in the Arrested Development Program. This is the program of pure retardation. This program is designed to turn a genius into a chimpanzee. Sticks and stones break your bones, but words, they'll break your dreams, man. They'll break your spirit, man. I say that because this is the main ingredient in this program, this arrested development program. I mean, there can be a healthy baby. Nothing is wrong with this baby, man. The baby is born, and then 10, 15 years later, that baby is just as tired as could be. And it's not that baby's fault. This baby could be inside of a program, man, the Arrested Development Program, man. This is a serious program. And people who are victims to this program, you could see that spirit on them. Now, I didn't see people who was victims of this arrested development program and I seen the spirit on them but I just couldn't put my finger on what made them different it's like they was regular but awkward at the same time and then I start talking to Mason man about it it was two females in Long Beach they were beautiful man one of them was like 19 the other one was probably like 21 and they lived with their moms at this motel, the 7th Street Motel, on the east side of the LBC, what Nate Dog rap about, that 7th Street Motel. They used to live in that damn 7th Street Motel with their moms, and they used to eat at the rescue mission, and they used to get all types of free stuff, and they was all like bummy and homey and just like, but beautiful. Now, their mom was clearly crazy but the two girls the, the two females they were so beautiful and bright but they was with all of this dirty bummy stuff on so I asked Mason man hey what's up with them girls like like tell me something about it and he said oh they mother yeah she put it on them they inside of the program the arrested development program like the water boy like Carrie. Yeah. Look, this program is designed to turn a genius into an orangutan, man. Listen, he told me, he said, the moms, she say certain things over them. And I'm like, like what? Well, whenever they have a good idea, she smash on it, she either get mad, she storm out, she feel like she's sick, whatever she do, however she do it, she smashes on it. And I'm like, all of them? She said, yeah, any type of dream that they have, she smash on it. A spirit is going to get into her. And then she's going to smash on it. If anybody come to help them, like a guy and all of that. He said that if I come and I go like to the 21 year old and try to help her out of her situation, the spirit is going to get into her mom's and she's going to chase me away. And then she's going to program her daughters and stuff to watch out for people like me. But really, I am the help. You understand what I'm saying? She's programming them to be retarded. They don't know how to drive. It's a lot of people out here like this. They don't know how to drive. They don't know how to fend for themselves. They 22, 23, 25. Then when a mother pass or they get, they, they separate somehow, they on skid row. They don't even know how to fend for themselves, man. This is a program. This is a serious program. And I've seen it on them girls. And Mason, man, he explained how deep it is, how the mother would rather go to the secondhand store to buy the girl's clothes, even though she have money to buy it from even Ross. I mean, come on, man. You could buy especially some female clothes, a petite females. Both of them was, was petite. You feel what I'm saying? You can buy some stuff at Ross. 
I'm like, Mason Man is the mother smoking. He like, nah, she's into witchcraft. I mean, I, I'm like, wow, they looking like this. They living like this. And the mother not smoking? He like, nah. You feel what I'm saying? The mother is just into witchcraft. And you know how Rapunzel's evil mother who kidnapped her was taking all of the energy through her hair. That's what the mother do. That's what Waterboy mother did. That's what Carrie mothers do to they to their children. Remember on the movie Carrie, right? There was a part in the beginning and she started bleeding. And then the girl started laughing because she thought she was dying. But she it was just that time of month. And when she got home, she asked her mother, all she wanted to know was why didn't you tell me? Why did Sally and Sue and Jenny know but me? Why not, Carrie? The reason why is because your mother is a religious narcissist. One of the evilest narcissists is the religious narcissist. And Carrie, you and your neighbor water boy is placed in this damn program called the Arrested Development Program. Why? Because you're too smart. If we teach you who you is, then you're going to start ruling the world. So we got to put you in this damn program to make you tired. If you can run fast, I'm going to tell you that you're slow. You hear what I'm saying? If you're reading a book, I'm going to say, hey, what the hell are you reading? You think you smart. Y'all always think y'all smart reading them books. And then you're going to close that book and finish doing that. One year, two years, eight years, 20 years. Don't know how to drive. Don't know how to do anything but fill out SSI applications. And they probably don't even know how to fill out a damn SSI application because they mama was filling it out. I'm telling you, there's people out here with the potentials to be geniuses, but they raised by some damn narcissists that ain't tell them nothing about the world. Some of them don't even know how to brush their teeth, man. You think I'm lying, huh? Some of them don't go to school, man, for weeks and weeks and weeks. It was some in your class when you was young. Then they got older and they don't know how to do nothing. So they stay in the damn projects and they go and they fill out the, 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 the food stamps and they go and fill out the, the ch all of that, man. It's a cycle of retardation, man. It comes from times of slavery. It's really an ancient, it's really an ancient program, but it was really, really implemented in slavery. Remember, they didn't want the slaves to read. That's part of the program. They didn't want the slaves to sing and communicate or none of that. They just wanted them to be bonobos, baboons, man. But not the King Kong kind. Not the King Kong kind, the Donkey Kong kind. You feel what I'm saying? This program is an evil program and this is the program that needs to be stopped. Now, when I see somebody who's a victim of this damn program, Man, I could tell, I could say, hey, you was raised by a narcissistic mother, our father, our guardian, your grandmama. Hey, whoever taught you was a narcissist. Why? Because I could smell, I could smell the low confidence on you and it stank so damn bad. And I could tell that you're smart. I, I, I smell them, them, them damn brain cells. I'm like, how you stupid? and smart at the same damn time. I'll tell you why you're stupid and smart at the same damn time. You stupid because nobody guided you in the right direction, man, because you was placed in the program. And you smart at the same damn time because you was meant to be damn smart. It was nothing wrong with you when you came out your mama womb. The only thing that was wrong was the people you was placed around. They ain't teach you shit. You feel what I'm saying? Don't worry. I ain't sitting up here talking because I ain't experienced. But now that all of this is broken and we vibing high, we're going to see it. People are going to be able to come to, come, to, come to you. And it's going to be something wrong with them. And you ain't going to even have to ask them. 
because you're going to see the spirit on them. You can kind of see it now. Like if a crackhead that's really cracked out come to you, you can already say, okay, hold on. I know the first demon we got to cast about you is some type of addiction demon, right? And he going to say, uh-huh. You understand what I'm saying? But it's going to get deeper, these things that's hidden. You know what I'm saying? You could see them. You, man, you could see them. You could see that spirit on a person that's narcissistic abused. Narcissistically abused. Well, hey, you know what I'm talking about, man. Don't be playing no games, man. There's people out here that's suffering, man, and they real smart and they they damn genius is being suppressed because they don't know nothing. That is not fair, man. And all parents and guardians and people that's raising these genius children like 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 Carrie, like Ma. The movie Ma, she had a daughter. She put her daughter in an arrested development program. You would never develop. You will always be like eight years old, depending on them. Hey, mama, I'm in the jam. I'm in the bind. You be 40 years old living with your mama, 42, still doing errands, still going to go get her cigarettes, still going to go get her milk, and she paying you like five, ten dollars. I am not lying, man. You know what? That's all I gotta say. So I hope you understand what I'm saying because I ain't gonna say it no more. Peace.